Hello, my name is Richard Green. I attend the West African Congregation. Today we'll be looking at Hebrews chapter 11, verse 8 to 22. I have entitled this video, Faith in Action. These scriptures look at the faith that Abraham and Sarah had in God. As I read through these scriptures, three things that stood out for me the most was the faith that Abraham and Sarah had to leave everything that they ever knew, leaving the most populated city in the world at that time, leaving their loved ones, everything they did, everything that they ever knew to travel to the promised land, to be living in tents. All that luxuries and all the finer things that they probably were used to, there was no more. They trusted God so much that they actually just packed everything up and followed the instruction that God gave to them. The second one is that these were two elderly people that were traveling probably by camels with tents that they had to put up every day by themselves. The strength to do that was unbelievable. And then to top it off, God tells them that they're going to bear have children. Now, for me, someone came and told me if I was 87 and my wife was 86 that they, we were going to have more children. I wouldn't believe them. I would think that's literally impossible. But this instruction wasn't coming from a person, a flesh. This was coming from our God Almighty. He was telling us or telling Abraham and Sarah that they were going to bear children. And it happened. They had, they believed that that this was going to take place and it happened and the last point that stood out most was when God asked Abraham to sacrifice the only child that they had Isaac I love my son and my daughter to the fullest and for someone to ask me to sacrifice them would be one of the hardest things I ever did but Abraham had faith in God and he was going to go through with it and God stopped him at the last moment. These three, these three points in the scriptures is faith in action. They had faith in every action that they did. Everything that God asked them to do, they had faith in it. From a point, personal point of view, before I gave my life to Christ, I hit a point where my faith was really low. Um, and that was when I lost my father, my dad, the only person that I looked up to, the only man I looked up to. He, But when he left, he left seven children and 12, at the time, 11 great, um, grandchildren. And I was the eldest. And I was supposed to lead. I didn't have the faith to lead. I was thinking my dad is 62. He should be carrying on living. He should be leading this family. And I just couldn't see the bigger picture from any from anything. And my faith was renewed when I saw my dad give his life to Christ. Now, you probably ask him, why has this come up? Well, this has come up because when my dad was there lying on his bed, on his deathbed, giving his life to Christ, he didn't know where he was going. Like Abraham and Sarah, he didn't know what was beyond once he closed his eyes and he stopped breathing. He didn't understand. He just, at that time, as most people, and I think I put myself in that situation, I'd be scared. But not my dad. He had had enough faith in Jesus to give his life to Jesus, to say, I'm giving my life to Jesus. I am now coming home. At that time, I couldn't understand how somebody could do that. But now seeing the bigger picture that I had to take positive out of something that was so negative in my life at that time and have faith that all things happen for a reason. And and if it wasn't for the death of my dad, 
I don't think I'll be where I am today following giving my life to Christ. Sometimes a situation, as hard as it can be, is just, uh, is a, is just a small part of a bigger picture, a bigger picture that only God can see. And you've got to have the faith to say that I will trust in God in whatever he asks me to do. So I will close this video off by saying, as Christian, be strong and be have faith in God. If you hear his voice call you, go to him and ask him, what would you, what do you want, what do you want me to do? And simply have faith in what he asks you to do. Like Abraham and Sarah. Thank you very much.